What's going on guys, Josie Q back again with another video. So today we're going to be talking about this story. Uh, it's it's not a fun one, it's really not. It's like a sexting gone wrong. I don't know if you guys have ever sexted before. It's really not a big deal. Like people take it, I don't know, I remember a long ass time ago like people would always be like, oh sexting, that's so bad, it's provocative. Oh my god, don't do it. And I'm like, it's really not a big fucking deal. Like, I don't get why people make sexting such a big fucking deal. Like, it's it's just talking, it's just t texting things just sexually. I, I don't know. In my opinion, it's not a big deal, but I kind of do it a lot. So, yeah. But this one happened actually a few months ago. I This is before I was dating my current girlfriend. And I was talking to this girl. Didn't really last that long, but, like, some shit happened, and it was really awkward. And, yeah. So, this girl lived with her, just her dad. Uh, she didn't really, like, live with her mom or anything, but, like, she was living with her dad. And I guess her dad, like, took her phone away. I, I thought, you know, you know, when you get to a certain age, your parents really can't take your phone away. But maybe in some families they can. I just always thought, like, when you're, like, 18, people just, they don't get their phones taken away. Because, like, I, I don't know. It just, that seems like a childish thing to do. I don't, I don't know. It just doesn't seem like something that would happen to an 18-year-old. But you never know. We were talking for a little bit. Like, overall, we talked for, like, on, it was, like, an on and off talk. We talked a little bit for, like, a month and a half and then stopped talking for, like, a little while. Then started talking again. And then stopped, and then maybe then a little bit again. It was, it was really weird how it all happened. But like, so this girl kind of started sexting me. She texted some stuff, and it turned into sexting. And I was kind of doing it back a little bit. And it's not really wasn't that big of a deal. It happened for a little while. It was almost like you know one in the morning. So I decided to go to bed. So somehow, so I texted her in the morning when I woke up, and it was something I'm not gonna tell you. It said something along the lines of like something I wanted to do to her. I, I'm not gonna get into it, but it was just something I, yeah. But uh, her dad had the phone and this girl like didn't have a password on her phone like basically everything that was wrong or anything that could go wrong was wrong and he opened it up and he like responded by sending a picture of his like face and he was just like this is her father and i he said like i don't approve or i don't like what you're saying like i don't ever want you to talk to my daughter again and like i was like fuck I didn't even respond to that. I, I literally just, like, closed... Through, I turned off my phone, threw it across the room, put my head under my pillow, and, like, just was sad. I didn't, wasn't sad. I was just, like, fuck, 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 and cringed for, like, an hour. I was just, like, god damn. Oh, god. Good thing I didn't send anything, like, weird, you know? But, like, just no. I'm kind of losing my voice right now because I'm sick at the moment, so I'm sorry if, uh, yeah, that. Needless to say, me and her talked for a few more weeks, and I ended up going over to her house and we hung out and her dad was there and it was a really awkward time because like i had met that was the first time i met him and he had like read the text and he knew it was me so it's like a really just like weird situation because meeting he like, i met him and he like gave me the sh like the tightest handshake ever and like when she walked away at one point he was like i know that was you that sent her that text message and i just want to say uh, i'm not gonna have any hard feelings or anything blah 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 and then after that, we kind of stopped talking. I'm going to get into that in another, like, video on why that happened. Because it's a really shitty situation. But, um, it's kind of, like, a, a good thing. Because if me and her didn't stop talking, I wouldn't have met my girlfriend now. And I'm really glad that me and my girlfriend now are dating. Because she's a really great, amazing girl. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully that lasts a long time. Yeah, you know, have you guys ever sent a sext or a text or a nude or a anything to a girl and like her parents saw it or like I, I don't know you have any awkward situations like that because that kind of shit is really weird and like I guess I could give you a little bit of a teaser for the next video I'm gonna record but like this girl ended up cheating on me sort of we didn't like date but we weren't like front it's more than friends but less than dating because I'm gonna get into it in the next video it's it's a whole long story of just fuckery okay it's just a lot of fuckery going on and I didn't like it and I'm, I mean, I was, in, now that I think back to it, it was just like all these signs of shit, just, I should have known. I really should have fucking known. But, yeah, I feel like this was a quick video. It was just something I thought of that I, I could tell for story, for story time, because I know a lot of you guys like stories and shit. Hopefully, you all are enjoying, uh, you know, your, your school. I don't know if, are you guys all back in school at this point? If you guys are in school, let me know down below what grade you're in. If you're not in school... Let me know what you're doing with your life, because, you know, I love. I like to hear what kind of shit you guys uh, tell me. I'm a complete dick. Anyways, that's been it for this video. Don't forget to click the like button below and to subscribe for more videos. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.